Nas, um, sorry, Vienna men, Vienna against the Finnish Riusuk. Okay, we have Finland again, uh, the unspeakable, unspeakable name, um, and uh, Vienna. So Vienna uh, yesterday uh, lost against uh, Australia. Yes. So I think they were not happy. No, they d d definitely both teams uh, saw their chance in scoring in this uh, Champions Cup 2016 yeah, in their game and Australia made it and uh, they earned it, they did a good game and uh, now the game for uh, uh, Austria will be tough against uh, the Finnish yes, sir, players. We, we saw the Finnish uh, team playing against Orcas and they lost 2-0 and they put up quite a fight, uh, a very good game. Yeah, we talked. Uh, so we saw Samuel from the Orcas, and he was quite uh, whoa. That was tough, and he was happy to win this game. Um, so it will be tough. Uh, so for they are in the group Austria. of four. They're in the group B, Vienna, together with the Finnish team, the Colombian team, Orcas, and with the Australian. So actually, the the, the match between Vienna and Australia was for the level they have, their match to win. That's what was such an important game for both teams because uh, I think both teams know that against the fin uh, Finnish team and the Colombian team, they don't have, you know, really a chance. And they lost. So I don't, I, I don't think we're having to have a surprise at Vienna uh, scoring against the Finnish team. So that put them at the end of the, of the group already. So we have uh, one minute left here in this break and I have a question for you, Jörg. How, where do you see underwater rugby in 10 years from now? <laughs> Good question. It depends. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> I love you. No, no that, that's business-like. If someone asks a difficult question, you always say it's a good question, even you think something else. Uh, from 10 years, um, I think it's unpredictable. It's, uh, it's more, I think, not uh, depending on any federations or something like that. It's more de depending on individual activities. Totally and, agree. And um, more people who individual think positive about sports. Uh, my problem is always that uh, federations, uh, they always uh, like to make uh, rules and uh, arrangements and something like that and it's, uh, make easy things very complicated. And. Um, we have a lot of changes in life, so we should adapt also this in the sports and be open-minded. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people, they are not so open-minded, especially when they are a long time in the sports. They know, they believe they know everything. They are come in position, they want to rule something, uh, which I, I basically don't like. Uh, I like more uh, the things... Uh, people bring forward uh, the, the sports and the idea of the sports and then it might be we if we had the sports will be more independent we have already EuroLeague which is independent uh, I would say like a private organization uh, which seems uh, somehow successful more and more teams go there um, now with March also German team so there's something going forward and if the federation uh, uh, does not uh, take care In of such yeah. movements, yeah. there yeah. will be individual thing. Yeah. And uh, of course, you, you mentioned there's always a t uh, thing, uh, money, because money rules the world and makes things and competitions available. But uh, at least one sponsor can change a lot of things compared to what the federation is doing. That's yeah. true. But I, um, I think on a global scale, um, the rugby is development. We need uh, global solutions and uh, organizations. And uh, I think we need some uh, kind of uh, um, um, control from the community of what's happening, um, if, 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 if that's possible. Because otherwise, uh, um, money rules, as you said. And if money controls uh, the developing of uh, underwater rugby, it will be a different world then. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked due to the past history that, uh, for example, the European Championships, uh, the last one was 2011. So that's a long time uh, yeah. that uh, there was not, the federations were not able to organize something and they, they have their, their specific 
decisions which is more localized. It's it's the same, a little bit like politics. No? The, the people look more local than uh, global. Yeah, which is always understandable. Everyone want to rule this. We have this in the in the, in the total world. So you see this also in the sport. Yeah, but. Uh, the players themselves, and that's uh, some part of the history and the history of this Champions Cup. We, the Champions Cup was established not by a federation, it was uh, established but by, yeah, but the community. Okay. by the community. Let's, let's go into the game here um, uh, of uh, Austria against uh, Finland. Finland in white, uh, Austria in blue, and already a Finnish player stole the basket of the uh, Austrian team. and. Uh, the Finns are attacking, but uh, stopped at least two meters in front of the uh, um, basket uh, of the um, Austrian basket. And now we are at the basket, and the attack is getting uh, more ferocious. And, and they go in th the already. There is no goalkeeper, and here it is. And the 40 first goal. seconds. You know, I'm keeping track since yesterday, and the fastest goal has been done by Bamba against Firenze within the 21st 25 seconds and by the girls was a current within 13 seconds I mean from the start so they need to top those but you know 40 seconds not bad either it's it's uh, you don't as a team you don't want to be uh, in the position to catch the first goal within the first uh, 20 seconds it uh, <laughs> disrupts your motivation so not, not that big a surprise. Uh, let's see if the Finns uh, keep up their pace and if uh, Austria <laughs> succeeds in uh, going forward. Thank you, Jane. Jane is telling us that, uh, that the Finnish name translates into drying, barn, hill, sports, divers, just in case it's easier to say. No, it's not. I think I stick to Ryusuk. <laughs> drying, but barn, hill, you. sports, divers. Uh, that is, yeah, interesting. But thank you so much. Cool. Okay, <laughs> back in the game. Let's go back in the game. Um, uh, we, we see already a, a cluster building in the, in the first two minutes uh, on the surface. I uh, think it's initiated by Austria and uh, the Austrian basket is already on the heavy attack from the open side uh, by the Finnish players and they have a good team play, they, they interrupt the defense of uh, Austria, just uh, put them next to the defense under the basket and are ready to score. Um, the Austrians fight back with claws and teeth but uh, they they don't control this this game and Finland uh, even though it's a, a try counter attack from Austria was stopped in the middle and now Finland is back yeah and I even heard the the, the referee uh, uh, the, with a horn before the ball even was in the in the <laughs> basket it was so clear it's gonna be a, <laughs> a, a goal so there was a one-on-one -on -one attack uh, from a Finnish player against the goalkeeper and he pushed him up. Um With the ball, it was really interesting tactic. <laughs> so 2-0 and seven minutes to go. I mean, yeah. We might be at 10-0 game to within these two teams, I believe. So uh, Austria is in ball possession, they have a uh, free throw against uh, Finland and uh, let's see if they succeed uh, to at least uh, uh, reach the Finnish basket for the first time after four three minutes in this first half of this game, uh, Austria against Finland. They don't succeed and uh, we already have a free throw now against uh, Austria and uh, my guess is they will uh, score after this free throw uh, quite fast because Austria is not is not in the game um, and there's already a, a Finnish uh, player waiting to change the goalie of the Austrians and here we go attack um, heavy attack of the Austrian basket and uh, there is a, a cluster on the surface now Oh, we have a beautiful colored picture of the mobile cam. Now Austria is uh, um, upping up their game and they are almost at the finish basket. Um, but the attack was stopped. Uh, there was uh, one player 
uh, trying to get up in front of the basket uh, to reach the goalie, but they were stopped. And Finland is now again in ball possession and going for a counter-attack to the Austrian basket. And uh, two Finnish players against two Austrian players coming from uh, above. There's now a goalie, uh, a Finnish player stole the goal away. Yeah, um, Austria uh, is defending a little bit better than at the beginning of the game. A little bit better. But... Um, So um, um, the, the, the defense is waking up in Austria uh, from the Austrian players and they uh, at least uh, succeed in uh, keeping the Finnish players away. They don't control the game. We have Cluster now right above uh, the Austrian goal at the wall and there was a player using the step uh, as a means to push himself. That's not allowed. So we have a three throw against Austria. And... Uh, now they start their attack from the closed side and uh, the player, uh, the wall keeper is swimming around the basket but was uh, intercepted by an Austrian player who now goes for a counter attack and uh, one of his teammates is going in too but he doesn't swim through, he just dives, uh, passes on to another player and dives up to the surface this and the one the player time. left was stopped by a Finnish defense. This is the first time we see really, uh, I mean, Austria doing a little bit of stress on the Finnish basket, I mean. Yeah. A little bit. It's like, yeah, Austria is finding themselves again, right? I mean, after having... Uh, and and this is the kind of counter-attack you uh, you see the one player going through, but... Wow. Wow. That was... All oh, right, that was he, impressive. He was stopped uh, by, by a the defender and by attacker behind him who grabbed his foot. And uh, nevertheless, he succeeded in pushing away the goalkeeper and pushing the ball into the basket. Um, this is the difference in, in the, 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 the energy and the edge. And the experience and Probably the strength. Well, and I think Austria is an experienced uh, team. Well, yes, but they haven't. I mean, that's the thing with experience. I mean, uh, Italy, Austria, Switzerland, they are like in a plateau of development since years. We haven't seen achieving more than they have achieved. I that's mean, you true. know, or, or more or less it's always the last third of the of the end results uh, for years. So yeah. I wonder myself, um, yeah, what, what the, 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 the sport needs over there so they can achieve the next level of... Uh, yeah, yeah. And even uh, uh, when, when Jörg you know. was talking about EuroLeague, uh, Austria in the EuroLeague uh, uh, enforced itself with uh, a lot of German players, uh, a lot of top players. Yeah. So uh, they're part of the Three Nation League. I believe yeah, they're playing the Three Nation like League too. Actually, Four Nations League. So I think you know that, that that's great, and that should hopefully help um, the 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 quality of these uh, nations, which are a little bit below the top teams yeah. maybe to race up and develop and, and have also more people interested in playing uh, because you know that's more opportunity for them to go and play and have interchange okay call from a referee free throw against austria and uh, the Finns are swimming heavily into the the change uh, the goalie change of the austrians and uh, there was a call from a referee because of this pushing uh, of the goalkeeper without a ball so it's a free throw against uh, Finland now and uh, Austria tries to to reach the the corner of the close side now there's one Austrian player coming from the close side on the wall trying to go through the Finnish uh, defender but uh, he looks a little bit um, alone by himself and now Obviously, they're yeah, the they're back in the corner, and now yeah, uh, with a pass, they, they try to get through from the close side of the basket, and now in the middle of the basket, but they are tackled away by the Finnish players, and that was a, a quite um, forceful, uh, f the first one, I think, uh, attack on the Finnish basket. And uh, we have one minute left here in this first half of the game of uh, Austria and against uh, uh, Finland. Yeah, Austria, you know, uh, is showing a little bit more... Uh, of consistency in the attack but look at the defense i mean they what i understand they they were attacking and they tried to attack a little bit over the corner even though it wasn't really successful
successful, but at least they, they, they had a little bit more of pressure over the um, Finnish basket. But then they completely um, forget that they have to switch from the attack models into the defender models, and that counter attack from Finland with three players against the goalkeeper alone. So you cannot do such a thing. You need to keep your mind into the attack, but also need to switch instantly. And this is what I'm not seeing that the maybe it's a lack of condition, lack of concentration. Um, wow. Well, okay. That okay. That was pushing. Was That's almost a Thorsten, kick. That's uh, Lütke, uh, one of the former players of PUL Berlin. Um, end of the first half here on Champions Cup 2016. Um, the biggest underwater rugby tournament in the world and uh, we are here in Berlin, the sun is yep, not really coming up. To, I mean, at the beginning we start with 40 something at 8 o'clock in the morning, so people are waking up. It's still 9.40 a.m. here in Europe, quite early, so great that, you know, have that many watchers this early in the morning. Thank you for being with us. Yes, um, we were talking Four about zero, yeah, ah, sorry. yeah. We were talking about development of underwater rugby, and um, as you see how uh, um, upstarting, let's call them young uh, nations like uh, Turkey uh, Columbia. and Colombia, um, there the development is driven by people, by single people like uh, um, Samuel, like. Uh, um, Pacho and uh, Lilo, like Federico, those guys who just dedicated their life to underwater rugby, and um, they, it, you don't hear them talk about money. That's not the issue. And uh, with Tarkan too, he dedicated his life to underwater rugby, and uh, he's yeah. organizing it. Yeah, but don't forget that they're being paid. We, I mean, here in Germany, and I would like to know how it is in other countries. Uh, I, I have to have the same system. You have the trainer, which does it just for free. Or here, um, the national trainers do get a little bit of, you know, of money, but you cannot call it a salary. Um, and uh, they, in, in Colombia and in Turkey, they are training. They're being paid by the players, not are by the, the federation. Are the coaches paid in, uh, in Turkey? I don't know. Oh, I thought they were. Well, Tarkan is, uh, I think he's financing himself with underwater rugby, uh, as far as I know. But uh, well, I don't but know about the coaches. But bec because, of let's uh, talk about Colombia, we know a little bit more. They get paid by the club, I mean by the money they collect in the club, the, 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 the coaches are paid a salary, so they, that's their job. And then we see what's happening. I mean, they're having a lot of uh, um, new players. They, they, they have uh, a good quality because you have someone who is being paid to dedicate also. So it's a lot of passion and love for the sport. I'm not saying that it's not. But it's but time. But it's time because most of us do this, you know, aside of our normal life. And you don't have sometimes, even you have the will and the passion, you don't have the time. You cannot, you need to... to earn money so you can play rugby <laughs> and that makes a difference and, and, and it's not just as a trainer it's also the players if we consider that um, here in Germany we have a lot of more older people that start to play in sports I mean rugby normally it's people that were injured in other sports and then you know they start with 20 something and we don't have that many younger players it's actually a problem I remember last year when um, Colombia came with, with a, a under uh, U21 or U18 of, of women and men and, and you know we didn't have here teams uh, in uh, last year to 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 bring a selection uh, of, of just you know girls and 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 and, and uh, youth uh, men team and this year they they, they uh, succeed on, on having a U21 team and the European Meisterschaft that was just uh, play in Sandefjord. Um, so, okay, going back to the game, we can continue the discussion later. We have now uh, the Finnish team already in possession of the ball, defending, and there's been a call from the referee as a free throw against uh, Austria, against uh, Vienna. And uh, we are already 4-0 for the Finnish. 
And Austria woke up a little bit more and is putting up a little more of a fight than at the beginning of the game. However, uh, the Finnish team is, is more uh, precise in the way they play, in the strength and the tactics, and uh, um, they are already attacking. They have already covered the uh, goal, and there was no chance for the Austrian goalie to get into position, and we have another goal. 5-0 now for uh, Ryusuk. <laughs> And uh, still, almost the second half, uh, almost just started, eight and a half minutes to go. So let's see. Um, in the middle of the uh, pool, the fighting to get the ball, and the uh, Finnish team got it back from. I mean, uh, the Austrian didn't even make it over the half of the uh, pool. As they started, they're fighting already in their half of the uh, and now there's another call free throw against Austria. Three meters or from the middle. So it's five zero already. Yes. Yeah, Finland is, is quite strong and we will see them uh, compete in the top ranks of this uh, Champions Cup, I think, and uh, the performance of Austria is not uh, that amazing. Um, and let's see if they at least they can score uh, one goal. There was a decisive attack now uh, on the finished basket, uh, but uh, they did, they did the, the, the attacker didn't succeed and coming on the level of the goalkeeper to the basket was tackled away but they come in and, and it's a fourth wave now going in on the defense um, of Finland but uh, they didn't succeed and they lost the ball so Finland is now on counter attack we ah, have a yeah, yeah, that was almost we a have a counter attack and and, um, we have a counter attack fast swimming and the attacker threw the ball on the rim of the basket didn't go in but the second wave came in and the uh, goalkeeper wasn't uh, very good uh, position on the goal and uh, the second wave the player pushed the ball right next to the goalkeeper in the basket so um, we have a timeout and 6-0 uh, I believe uh, uh, Vienna is trying to see you know how they find themselves together because I believe they're playing a little bit of a better game than what they did at the beginning and um, there's no chance for them to win this game but um, at least to get a little bit m more organized in the attack they're doing and to keep the ball because they just do one or two waves and then they lose the ball in the defend uh, by the defender and then they have the counter attack and they, they how many goals they ha almost all of the the goals or at least four if i don't remember wrong are from counter attacks they were not they were not fought goals at the goalie they were counter attack because the ocean team didn't manage to return on time to mm. be in position and it was normally the goalie against two or three of the attackers so this is a very very big mistake and they know that they can make a difference in this game but if they don't get that um under control for the next for the next games to come then it's going well, to be a Austria a should be able at least to score one goal in this game um but uh, right now Finland is controlling uh, uh, most of the game and uh, the, the, the attacks we've seen from Austria don't uh, succeed uh, in putting really dangerous pressure on uh, the Finnish basket. Now we have another attack from Austria. They're um, coming from above, okay, trying to pull the goalie away and trying to pass down to the... Call point. from the referee, uh, pushing without ball free throw against Austria. It's a little bit, uh, um, 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 how you call it, uh, uh, Austria looks a little bit verzweifelt. Uh, <laughs> um, desperate? Yeah, desperate. They look a little bit desperate in uh, scoring. And what happens if you go in with, uh, with this, uh, I have to, I have to, I have to score. Uh, it's, that's not... You cannot be you cannot have you're not not you cannot you shouldn't have this kind of emotion in a game you need to have keep a, a cool head 
Yeah. Because if you don't keep a cool head, this kind of emotion of willing to score or being angry about something, um, then they 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 uh, keep your concentration away, and you're going to do more mistakes than if yes. you just you know try not to get uh, an impact from the situation what's going on and try to keep your game uh, as 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 clean as possible but okay that is insane than done right i mean <laughs> when you are in the uh, middle of the game and they have all those you know um you're nervous you are uh, anxious uh, you are angry or frustrated because you're um play the the the, the 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 playmates are not really doing their a part of the bit of the of the game it just it can get to your head so back in the game um we have a fight now in the middle of the pool um that started on the bottom and now it's now on the surface and uh, the austrian player who uh, received the ball just uh, dived to this uh, uh, dived up to the surface and tried to play from there and was tackled and lost the ball now we have a counter attack from uh, Finland again, and this is one of these counter attacks. We're quite sure we'll succeed in a in a uh, yeah. Here he is. Um, like Lorena already said, these counter attacks from Finland are quite decisive, and they go in with a lot of speed, and they know what to do, and they score. So it's a 7-0, and it's uh, well earned by the Finnish team, and uh, they control this game. It, it, I think it could be possible for Vienna to score one because they had some chances. No, they can't. They don't think so? No. Okay. <laughs> they don't have a chance, <laughs> sorry. They don't have the consistency in attacking. Of they haven't done more than two waves of attack. You need at least five, if uh, at least, to maybe cr generate a little bit of a yeah, hole in the defense. Yeah, pressure up, yeah. No, 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 no. They don't have the consistency for that. Okay, free throw against uh, Finland now. I think there was a, a grip to the head. Um, the referees uh, uh, were said to punish uh, everything dangerous quite fast, uh, beginning with a free throw and uh, then probably with a time penalty. But we haven't seen any time penalties in this Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin yet, and I hope we don't. Um, now there is an attack uh, on the Finnish basket and uh, an Austrian uh, player waiting, building a tunnel uh, in the middle of the basket. Oh, there is a heavy pushing of a Finnish player without the ball. That should be uh, pushing without ball, but the, goal uh, the, the referee didn't see it. And um, that's that, that, that should have been uh, uh, made a call from the referee. We have a counter-attack now um, from the Finnish players. And uh, one of the Austrian players tried to change uh, with the goalie, with the Finnish goalie. Oh, there's, uh, sorry, this is the Austrian basket. Okay, counter-attack. Um, was a free throw against Austria. And uh, Austria succeeded to to get hold of the ball, and now they try to do their own counter attack. At least reach uh, the um, the closed corner of the uh, close to the finished basket, but uh, they didn't succeed, and they were pushed away, and the ball was taken away from them. We have a cluster now. Uh, no, this is no. This is actually quite open but a uh, lot of Austrian players are on the surface and another counter attack of the Finns uh, to the to the Austrian basket and uh, they come in and in, in several waves going in with two this is heavy fighting now on the Austrian basket but I think it's only a question oh, of time one of the players tried to push the the ball over the basket to the open side to the player and the but the player didn't see it, see it. Yeah. It's a pity because it was uh, a nice yeah. uh, attack, but they lost the ball by doing that. And now Austria is trying to do a score on an empty basket. And you were right, Wolf. You said can, that they can, still can't could. Can you please repeat that? No, no, no. This is just you know off record. Nobody wanted to be repeated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know someone who likes to be repeated. If I'm we really talk surprised. about Kali. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
<laughs> no, here we go. I'm really surprised that the Finnish team completely, you know, lost that concentration and uh, the Austrians could achieve that that score in an empty basket. But okay, well, for good for them. Yeah, I think it's 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 earned. Um, they know. I think Austria knows they are the. Uh, oh, that was a. Whoa. Wow, that was a little bit of okay, a... Okay, now it gets uh, a little bit... Uh, uh, rough. Uh, rough that was with not a fair. punch to the, the head and uh, the other player, the, the Austrian player, repeated or uh, made his call. Another goal from the Finns. And that's it, end of the game. So, 8-1. It, it's good, it's good, it's the end of the game because it, uh, it became getting, a little yeah. bit uh, annoying uh, each other in this game with... Uh, um, with uh, to the head and that, that shouldn't happen in this game. I have a question, yes, you, see, you said the loser always learned from a, from a such game. Do you think it also learned something in this game? Well, the thing is with Austria, I think as a team they have so much experience, I don't think they get out of something out of this game, that's true. In this case, I don't think they learn because uh, as a team they fought so many fights and uh, losing right here probably didn't uh, uh, give them uh, uh, an experience they can uh, work with in the future. 